this is just a quick little uh, update companion for those of you that were interested and, and followed me having putting uh, linear rails on my MK3. You can see it just makes it totally quiet. Um, a little information that might help you if you decide to do it, but also um, as close as I can come to a comparison to it with and without. Just the other day I had a failure which uh, had to do with the Pinda probe and it uh, meant I needed to go through the full machine calibration and as I went through the after I'd fixed the problem with the Pinda probe and everything and I went through the full machine calibration I found that it was saying there was an error in the uh, in the Y calibration bed movement and so I stripped everything down and, and realized the situation. I'd never had to do a full calibration since I put the the linear rails in until this point. And and that is the way that the machine works of course is it uses the these plastic end stops front and rear on the left side to hit the in the original design the, the UM barrel bearings, the rod bearings, they actually hit front and back. And it's, um, it's counting those steps as it does that test. And if it doesn't hit them both, then it knows something's wrong. So even though my bit actually has more travel, so I had one linear bearing back here replacing the one uh, old barrel bearing, and of course one over here, which is way overkill. You really only need one linear bearing for this entire thing. It'd be plenty stable. But I had two, but none up here in the front. So basically the bed was coming all the way forward until the the little piece of plastic to get the belts tied to under the bed would hit up here. So it had too much, uh, it could travel further forward than it normally would if you had that other bearing here which would hit first. And of course it knew that when it was doing the testing. So as I was fooling around with it and I had the, the rails out anyway and everything, I just went and slapped the rods and the old bearings back in and did a, and did a print. And of course it, it went through the, the check just fine then, did a print. My God, was that noise. It just sounded like someone sawing wood as it was laying down those. I was doing a large flat piece, you know, so the head's going to move rather rapidly. And it's just, rant, rant, rant. and I went, holy crap, I remember why I put the linear rails in there. So when that print was done, I took it all out, and I went ahead and put in, there's now three sleds on the linear rails. You got the one there, the one there, and the one up front. Because if you use existing holes that are on there and you mount them, Everything lines up exactly the same as if it was the old uh, LM tubular rod bearings. So now can, when it comes all the way up and hits here, it calibrates right and it goes back and it calibrates right. So I just thought I'd throw that in as an interesting story if any of you are going to do the update. Basically make sure that you, you leave these plastic pieces in, these 3D printed parts. Cut your rail links to fit right in between the two. See there, lines right there and right there. And I used the, the screw uh, T-clips to mount it in the front. Make sure you spacer the thing up a few millimeters, two, three, whatever it takes. Because you want your height to stay the same so it'll pass uh, your test that way too. In fact, the, anytime you're going to make any sort of modifications to, to the bed, because the, the, this uh, MK3 does such a, a complete test and does it without the sensors, does it by jamming. You really should measure before you make the mods and I would say with the heat bed off, measure to the, the frame that the heat bed normally screws to. Measure its height from there to something known like this top ridge so you know what that height was so when you reassemble it your new way you can get that height exactly right. Measure what the, your actual bed travel is when you still have the UM barrel bearings on there. So, you, so when you do your mod, your new mod has exactly the right amount of throw that way. If you do those two things, then you'll be able to uh, pass the uh, automatic calibration mode, no problem. So that was just a little heads up, just saying that there's no way in heck I'd ever go back to anything other than the linear rails on here just because it's so sturdy and so quiet. But uh, make sure you do it right and you'll, uh, you won't regret it.